Welcome to this Wisel Excel VBA tutorial. This really quick video is going to explain briefly how you can send emails from another Outlook account in the same profile. We'll start with a very quick reminder of how to generate a basic email and then introduce you to the send using account property of a mail item. We'll explain how you can quickly list out the account names so that you know what items are valid accounts to assign to an email and then how you can use one of those account names to change the account that the email is being sent from. So it's a pretty short video, but let's get started. To get started, I have an Outlook profile with two separate accounts. The original and default account is called Andrew Gould, and the second account is called Trainee. I'd like to write some code in Excel VBA that generates an email and choose to send that email from the Trainee account. So let's head into the Excel application and with a brand new blank workbook, head straight into the Visual Basic Editor, insert a new module, and then within that module, create a new subroutine called send mail from other account. Now we'll write the basic code to create a brand new blank email. We'll do that using the help of the Outlook object library. So let's head to the tools menu and choose references. And then from the list that appears, scroll down and find Microsoft Outlook. And whichever number you happen to have in your list, mine's number 16, Microsoft Outlook 16.0 object library. Check the box and click OK. We can then declare a couple of variables. Let's start with OL as outlook.application. And we'll also have one called MI as outlook.mailitem. We can create a new instance of Outlook by saying set ol equals new outlook.application. And then we can create a new email by saying set mi equals ol.createItem. And specifically, we're interested in an ol mail item. We can display the email object on screen by applying the display method to it. And we can also say set some of its basic properties, like its subject could be equal to, uh, I don't know, test other account. And then we could also set a, a two property. So we can say mi.2 equals and just make up a generic email address just for the sake of demonstration, someone at somewhere.com. Uh, we could also apply some basic body text, I suppose. So mi.body equals, I won't bother writing out an entire email. Let's just start our email with dear someone. Having done that, if I were to quickly run the subroutine just to see what results we get, we should find that the email appears with an account set to the default account of the Outlook profile. Now we need to change the account being used to send the email. Let's close down the existing one and we won't bother saving the changes. We can modify the account being used to send an email by using the send using account property. We can assign a value to this. The value must reference one of the accounts of your Outlook profile. This is not just as simple as passing in a string of text, which is the name of the account. We need to reference an account using either its index number or its name. So before we can really do this, what we'll need to do is work out what account names we have access to. Let's create a separate subroutine for this. List account names. And to make this work, we'll declare a new variable which can hold a reference to an Outlook application. And we'll also declare a variable which can hold a reference to an Outlook account. So dim ac as outlook.account. I can set a reference to a new instance of the Outlook application in the standard way. In fact, I could have just copied and pasted this code, but I've started so I'll finish. And then what I'd like to do is loop over the accounts collection belonging to the namespace of the Outlook application. So I can say for each AC in OL dot. Now, if you've watched previous videos in this series, you'll know all about the get namespace method. And you'll also know that the only available one for Outlook is called Mappy. It's also worthwhile mentioning that instead of saying get namespace mappy, which is a little complex, you can also just simply say ol.session. The two are absolutely equivalent. So ol.session is uh, slightly easier to type. We can then look for the accounts collection of the session or the namespace for this Outlook profile. And then we can say next AC. And then within the loop, we can look at what values we can print out for each account. So let's say debug.print ac dot 
for big fun. I'll spell A C properly. It's A followed by C. There we go. So we have a bunch of different properties we can access about an account. The one that we'll need to make use of in order to change the uh, the send using account, or the one that I want to, uh, to to use, is the display name. You can use the display name to reference an account uh, by name rather than just by its generic index number. So having done that, I'm going to display the immediate window. And then if I run the list account names subroutine, it's not massively surprising when you see that the names listed, the display names are the same as those displayed for you in the Outlook window. So now that we know the names of the accounts, we can use the send using account property to determine which account is used to send the email. So let's say mi.sendUsingAccount equals, and again, as I said, you can't simply reference the account name as a string. What you need to do is reference ol.session.accounts and then pass in the name of the account you're interested in or the display name of the account you're interested in in a set of parentheses and double quotes. So having done that, if I run this subroutine again, this time we should see that when the email appears, it's automatically assigned the trainee account as the sender of this email. So that's really all there is to it. I, it was a short video after all, but a few people have asked the question about how to do this. So now at least I have something to refer them to if that question ever pops up again. Hope you found some of that useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.